they repeated a lot of what Mars Hill did, uh, Anderson did, uh, Mars Hill being the game that we played uh, the game before, which is sitting behind and trying to uh, counter and, and just put a lot of numbers behind the ball. So, you know, numbers as far as uh, shots and numbers of um, just, just uh, um, what looks like uh, one team dominator offensively were not there because they allow us to take a lot less shots than we take normally. But with that said, our possession was a lot higher than theirs because they sat behind. Uh, so they really went direct quite a few times. Lots of times when that happens, a team will get credit for shots when they're just long balls that the keeper pick, picks uh, them up. So on the shot chart, it looked like we were out shot, but on the chances to score, which is more important, we all created them. Uh, we missed a very, um, important goals early in the first half and uh, then early in the second half that could have put the game away but that kept the game closed and it was nervous wracking of course he ended up being in the second overtime but um but at the end quality came through you know it's one of those that um if um a team that plays counter attack can hold you and give themselves a chance late in the game it's always going to be a nervous wracking game but uh uh, we learned a lesson from Mars Hill that we cannot simply just keep throwing numbers up and, and, and not uh, stay kind of uh, balanced on the, on the counterattack, on the, on the transition back to defense. So ended up being a, a, pace, a chess game, a patience game. Yeah, we ended up having a switch formation. Again, lesson learned from Mars Hill. Instead of keeping the three forwards, we went to two forwards and Kind of populated more the middle, um, allowing us to be a little more balanced, you know. So we gave very little counterattack to them in the overtime, but we kind of um, made ourselves count on on um, situations such as that as free kick and corner kick, uh, and we did have one opportunity before the needles, but uh, his goal was phenomenal, you know, and, and uh, against a very good keeper, that their young man uh, was really having a good day. Um, and that's what it came down to. Yeah, we. Um, as I mentioned, we uh, learned lessons from the Mars Hill. You know, possibly if I could go back in time, I would have uh, toned down the offensive eagerness towards the end of the second half and just kind of uh, stay a little more uh, safe. But with that said, uh, the times that Kai w w was called upon the past several games, he, he came up big. Caleb now is back in practice, so it's going to be interesting on Saturday. But we're deep uh, defensively uh, we had three starters out the past uh, two games and uh, at least two starters out the past four games so that also opened up the depth uh, defensively speaking and uh, we should get uh, if not everybody the majority of these guys back saturday right on time for for hopefully a, a good playoff run so good news is a lot of people got playing time you know a lot of people um, um, show that they're ready to contribute bad news is we probably gave up a few more points than we wish we did but we're still in the hunt to host first round you know if we take care of business on saturday uh, and depending on other results we might still host the first round but more importantly we're still on the hunt to make a um, postseason at large with the ncaa 14 games three losses um it, it's never going to be a bad year obviously but um the, it, it's it's kind of bittersweet bittersweet because we uh, feel that we, even those three losses, we legit, legitimately were out of the game only once. Only one of those three losses we deserve, if that's that's the word, to, to lose. And on the ties, definitely we deserve to win. But um, but all in all, you know, we're still, like I said, um, uh, in a good position in the conference, in a good position in the region, and with a lot of experience for a lot of players. As you said, uh, it's it's um, it's an interesting balance in which. Um, experiences and, and uh, learning lessons will hopefully pay dividends in the playoff. Yeah, Queens is no longer an issue. They're already done. Uh, they, they're one game ahead of us, so uh, we already hold the tiebreaker, so that's done and done. Uh, all that we um, have to contain now is to either be fourth or fifth uh, and, and uh, host or not, so uh, uh, it's going to come down with our game with, with uh, Kataba to get three more points and, and, and then either be past Mars Hill or at least uh, tied with Mars Hill, but it would depend on how Mars Hill does with uh, Anderson, which Anderson is the one really trying to uh, jostle up. But uh, um, basically uh, it's, it's not, not important for us to be looking at, at 
beyond the game. The game itself is going to be the most important thing. And Kataba has not nothing to lose. They're out of the tournament, so they're relaxed. You know, and a, a lot of times teams like like that are dangerous because they they don't feel any pressure. Pressures can be good or bad, and pressure sometimes uh, when you release totally, a team plays loose. Uh, they, they they can they can hurt you. They uh, gave uh, Wingate all they, they could ha handle in their place uh, and ended up uh, coming out with a tie at Wingate. So uh, we're breaking down Kataba right now. We're totally respecting them and we're not expecting an easy game whatsoever.